Have a good Friday! Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It's been a long time. It's been since, since before, Christmas. before Christmas, which is yeah. like... Oh no, the last one was what we did for Christmas, or what we got, what we got for Christmas. Christmas. So it's been a good like four months. It's like practically half a year, basically a whole year. Anyway, we're back because it's Easter. And we're going to start to try and do this regularly again. Also, the fact that this that I'm filming on, I was using my work phone and then I recently changed jobs so I don't have that phone anymore. You know, that's part of the pie. Anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a good Friday. Part of the pie. It's part of the pie. It's good Friday. So we've had a nice little breakfast. We went to M&S yesterday and we got some brownie apple hot cross buns and we got some golden blonde chocolate and salted caramel. Now, let me just tell you something. These, phenomenal. Actually, phenomenal. These, the apple ones taste exactly like normal hot cross buns. They've just put like a single blob of apple in each one. So I, it's really nothing to write home about. So I wouldn't go for those. But these, year after year. We had those last year. Oh, honestly, I can't even, like, there's nothing more to say about it. They're just fantastic. Anyway, plan for today. Make some Easter nests. You know, like the shredded wheat ones with the mini eggs in. Chocolate shredded wheat. Yeah, so tomorrow for Easter, no. Sunday, Easter Sunday, we're going to go to a friend's for Easter lunch slash barbecue if the weather stays like as it <coughs> is. Um, <laughs> so we want to take some of those little chocolate nest things you normally make with cornflakes, but Aaron's a bit of... You make them at school, don't you, when you're like 10? Aaron's a bit odd and Cornish, so he makes some shredded wheat. Anyway, so we're going to go and buy some shredded wheat and some chocolate so we can make those bad boys. And then also go to the garden centre because... The garden needs some work, which I'm going to show you now. I can't even remember what it looked like last time you saw it, but I mean, it's really not that interesting, but it is to me. Aaron's trimmed this bush thing back. Like, it's got some short back and sides now. And our apple trees, they're growing back. Thank goodness, because I thought they were dead forever. What, the apple trees? Yeah. I gave mum one, like, a year ago. Yeah. And um, hers is, like, five times the size of any of those. It's really annoying. I don't know how she's done. We've just got back from B and Q, and we got some little things to grow. So I'm going to show you. So I got this a dianthus, which is a really nice pink one, and then I got this little pot to chuck it in. Obviously, we're little apple trees, so we've now upsized to these large ones, and we're going to repot them all in there. I think we've actually only got nine, but we've got 14 trees. Don't ask me why, we just do, and that Aaron's baby, so apparently we can't get rid of them. So we're gonna have to line up all of these pots across there, I think, because they get a bit of sun in the afternoon. And then over there, zoom in, that is my little chrysanthemum. This is our garden furniture that's literally like made of carbon fiber or something, so you can chuck it over your shoulder and bring it out whenever it's hot, which is really cute. We got this in Facebook Marketplace, and I think it was um, 65 pounds, which really is not that bad. You get a little table, a little sofa, and two little chairs, and poof things, whatever you call them. And yeah, we're just gonna spend the afternoon doing a little bit of green fingering. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, and then uh, have some lunch and then we've got some friends coming over for dinner tonight. Almost forgot, my goodness. This is our new little, what do you call it? A propagation tray. It's like a mini greenhouse. And we spoke to this lovely old couple who came and gave us some advice when we were in this B&Q and they said, you should buy these biodegradable pots to start off your um, seeds because you don't have to repot them. You literally just cut the bottoms off and then you can plant them into the pot or the ground or wherever you're gonna put them. So that is ideal. Fabulous bit of advice. They seem like they really knew what they were talking about. And then we got to grow some chilies, sweet peppers, and some plum tomatoes. We have this little tray. I think this is where our apples start, our apple yeah. tree started. And then they obviously moved to these pots and now they're moving to these pots. But you also tried to plant pepper seeds in here, didn't you? Yeah, I did it too late though. <laughs> And now, for some strange reason, he's going to try and grow some mangoes in our climate, which I just... No, I've got one, <laughs> I've got one mango seed and I just want to see if I can grow it, germinate it. But I think, we haven't right? researched it, but I am pretty sure that you have to have like a tropical climate to grow mangoes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's, I'm sure of it. So I think we're going to try and do everything in pots and then when we buy a house, hopefully in the next year or two, we can then have a nice little garden and plant stuff in the ground, which is going to be... hot 
The clouds just come, but it's hot. Right, this is the progress. Tomato seeds are in the tray. And then here we have, what does this one say? Chilies and peppers in there. And then all of these are now repotted in there. Hopefully those are going to grow and be fruitful. Might be in Italy when it's time to put them outside. It's been a nice wholesome day. My hands are now mucky. In there is Aaron's mango seed and also some lemon seeds because he wants to plant them too. We've had this discussion, I think, and the mango's just not gonna work. <laughs> I'm selling you now, it's not gonna work. I don't even know where lemons are grown, to be honest with you. They must be in a tropical climate too. <laughs> I don't know. So we've just been to literally every supermarket in, you know, to get some mini eggs because nowhere has mini eggs. We found this one single pack in a Morrison's. <laughs> it's Good Friday and, and it mini was, eggs are nowhere to be seen. They just don't exist. And this was in a different aisle, just like packed behind something. Like as hidden, the only hidden. one. Yeah. So we've got some shredded wheat, obviously some mini eggs lots of milk chocolate, the budget kind. And then obviously because we only had one bag of freaking mini eggs, we've had to go and get some other things. So we've got some multicolored Smarty mini eggs. We've got two bags of those. And then some Milky Bar mini eggs as well. So we're going to make those. journeys of all the supermarkets i got these nice trousers from Morrison. morrison's <laughs> you should just do these vlogs wrong <laughs> um they're very nice they're like a little tie up thing i don't know if you're supposed to put it at the front or the back but i'm going at the front we have ventured outside because you know what it's just still what time is it it's about half half no it's later than that half six half six and it's literally stunning and it's still hot I don't even know why I've got this on because it's yeah, about it half four. <laughs> it's about 25 degrees still. Um, so we're just off on a nice walk. That road there that you can hear is um, where our house is. Our house is literally just the other side of it. So you just have to cross the road and then you find yourself on this really pretty walk. And hopefully at some point we'll see some, some cows and some horses and lots of sheep. another lovely day it's a saturday we're about to go to stroud market with our friends that we had dinner with last night i think it's just a food market to be honest with you i'm hoping there's going to be some sort of furniture-y slash homeware-y stuff but i don't think that there's going to be so that's going to be nice ladies and gentlemen we're back from the market and a lovely day actually we did lots of things we went to we started off early in the morning at stroud market and then we went to yeah it was straight to jolly nice farm shop which is extortionately expensive oh i'll show you what i bought actually i forgot i got this really cute um very tall candlestick it's like a bit distressed and then i got this really pretty 
pink coloured candle for it. Ron says we have enough candles, but I think he's wrong. And it just goes there and I think it's so cute. Then we went to Mitch and Hampton Common, which is huge, a massive expanse of land um, right on the top of the hill. So it was very busy, full of people. And we went to a pub called The Old Lodge just to have a drink. Um, oh, yes, actually, I completely forgot to say it and we didn't film it and I wish we did. But in the moment, I was just not doing it. We had these massive donuts from a company called Pippin's Donuts, I think. Or Pippin's, maybe it's just Pippin's, I'm not sure. But the donuts were phenom phenomenal. And then we also had some brownies from Hetty's Brownies, I think that was called. Those were delicious too. So if you ever find a Pippin's for donuts or a Hetty's Brownies, do it. We decided not to have lunch because we were completely full up on donuts and brownies soon. But yeah, it was very nice. And then tonight we're going out for dinner to a place called Bao and Barbecue, which is like an Asian fusion thing. You know, there's little like Bao Bun chewy things. So we'll show you that because I'm quite intrigued. Okay, so it is now late at night. What time is it? Quarter past nine. Oh my God, we're so old. <laughs> it's so <laughs> late. Quarter past nine, we've had a delicious, honestly, most superb Asian cuisine I've ever eaten. Yeah, Would you agree? Great, bao barbecue and chow. Bao barbecue, good. but it's literally fantastic. The bao buns, what else do we have? Bang bang, bang cauliflower. Bang. Oh my God, you've got to have that. Um, and now we are going Cheeky to Morrison's. And we're gonna get some pudding. Good morning. It's Easter Sunday today. It's very beautiful outside again. I've got my little Easter dress on. <laughs> um, this morning, woke up and had a lovely surprise. I had a little Easter egg hunt. Look at all my little buddies. So last year, Aaron did an Easter egg hunt for me. Um, and then I assumed it was a tradition, but then Aaron was like, oh, but it takes so long to organise it. But then I woke up this morning and there was a little clue in my phone case. And then it led to another clue and another clue and another clue. And I went all around the house and collected all my little bunnies upstairs, and things. Downstairs, inside, outside. Yeah, I was in things in the car, things in the garden. <laughs> it was so cute. And now, what are we doing? Aaron's doing some editing. There's not really much we can do today because it's Easter Sunday. We're going to our friends for a barbecue. I'm assuming it's a barbecue because it's warm. Mm. Um, so we're going to do that about 2 or 2.30. So we've got a couple of hours just to mooch about. Might clean the house a bit. I need to pack. We both need to pack because yeah. we're going to my parents' house in Devon, in the countryside, for a few days. Um, which is going to be really nice because hopefully the weather stays like this and we can go to the beach. And lots of things like that nice wholesome things so i think we're gonna leave it there so we'll say goodbye goodbye Bye. happy easter, happy easter. I hope you've had a lovely break if you don't celebrate easter and i hope you've had a lovely easter if you do celebrate easter um and we will see you in the next vlog